TL Travelers and welcome to or welcome back to another TL Travel YouTube self-isolation video update. <laughs> this is obviously not um, our typical travel content at the moment, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little bit of an update on how I am feeling. I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, we have like the dishwasher running and the uh, laundry going because Derek actually just returned home from up north uh, coming back from work. So I pretty much put all of the uh, procedures in place for his return home, uh, come inside, social distance, wash your clothes and things from camp right away, hop in the shower, all that fun stuff. But yeah, best news ever is that now I'm quarantined and I'm not alone. Hi babe. Hi. <laughs> yeah, because I did have a little bit of a cough, um, like long before this started, but I did have like a, a bit of a sore throat and I was sort of like working through something already. And then also combined with the fact that Derek is coming from work at a camp, um, and a site where there are quite a few people. We are practicing social distancing a little bit for the first bit of time that he is home, just to be on the safe side. And then obviously we will be able to um, be closer again. But yeah, this like, he's been home for like two hours and already I'm a little bit annoyed that, you know, we have to be separate because, you know, I miss my man, not gonna lie, but it's gonna be worth it for our health and just to like, you know, be on the safe side, not just for us, but should either of us have um, the virus that shall not be named um, on like the 0.005% chance that we do, um, just also to be able to sort of trace it back to where it must have come from would be good as well. So that's the plan. Today we have our first grocery online grocery delivery coming. So now that services have shut down quite a bit and the city that I'm in, we're on a local state of emergency at the moment and they are working on closing down more and more things. Um, as this video is being filmed, I'm not really sure what the state will be on Thursday when this is posted. It is right now Tuesday, Wednesday. Days are hard when you do nothing. But I did my first online grocery order and it went like this. I am currently on the Walmart website, but it's not recognizing my address. What do you want from me? Edmonton Grocery Delivery. Save on foods. Why? So that was definitely interesting, but I have seen a lot of accounts of people since then who have done the online grocery order um, for a few days in advance. And then when their groceries showed up, uh, a lot of items were in stock. So like, for example, Colleen Ballinger, um, if you watch her on YouTube at all, she did like an online grocery shop where she ordered like $170 worth of groceries. And when they showed up, um, <laughs> the only things they had in stock were like frozen strawberries and peanut butter or something. So I'm hoping that that's not the case for us because it looks like online groceries is gonna be the way to go. So I'll keep you updated on that as well. And if you have not already hit that subscribe button, definitely do it. We post new content every Thursday and Sunday. We are doing a a few um, self-isolation type update videos here. This one or the next one might be my last for a little bit. And then we're gonna jump back into content from Mexico and Mexico City so that I can share all of that with you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's just jump into this day. of quite a bit. Um, the delivery guy was super nice. I got surprisingly more than I thought I was going to get. Our original order was about $125. We got $86 of food, but a lot of the things that I was kind of surprised to see in stock weren't in stock. So the things that we didn't get were, um, we had ordered a couple of different meat things 
those were out. And then somehow the Tylenol cold and flu was in stock and this is what I had really wanted. So I'm glad that we got that. But all of the other antibacterial hand soap, antibacterial um, like spray stuff and Gatorade and electrolytes, all those things were out. So I'm gonna move these groceries and um, then we're gonna talk self-isolation bucket list. Basically, if you read the title of this video, you know that what I wanted to talk about a little bit today was self-isolation bucket list items. You know, bucket lists are a huge thing for travelers. We have all of these lists of places that we want to see and places we want to eat and things we want to do and go and fly and all that great stuff. And a lot of that is missing for us right now. And being at home in self-isolation, even if you're used to working from home, um, yeah, it can be hard. And I know for me, a lot of my anxiety comes from feeling like I'm stuck in one place. That's always sort of been a thing for me. Um, and travel has always really helped with that. And even if I was going to be home here in Edmonton for a prolonged period of time, you know, even up to like a year, a year and a bit, um, it always really, really helped to know that I had a travel plan or something coming up that I could look forward to. Um, so not having that has been really difficult for me and I know that there are definitely a lot of people out there who are feeling the same way and um, just like quick disclaimer, this is not meant to be like, oh, sad sob story, you know, I'm not going to be able to travel all year like I usually do. I'm totally, totally grateful for being able to do that. I know there's a lot of people who aren't always able to do that. That's just sort of like for me to explain to you where I'm coming from with this video, but I also acknowledge that there's just a lot of anxiety for people surrounding being um, isolated and quarantined at home, period. So I just wanna talk about a few things that I've been doing or plan to do while I am in self-isolation that's gonna hopefully help me get through the stress and anxiety of it or that could come with it. And hopefully some of this helps you guys as well, um, just to like, keep you entertained or for whatever purpose. If there's something that you are doing in self-isolation, I would love to know like, what are you doing? What are you learning? What are you, how are you keeping occupied? Because yeah, this is a safe space to share and maybe others can grab some tips from you in the comments down below. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is to start or finish, if you've already started, um, that book. Everybody I feel, especially those of us who enjoy reading but have hectic busy lives, um, we all have like that book that we've either always wanted to read but it's been a little bit too long, we weren't really sure if we we're gonna have the time, or that book that we started reading and never finished. I have two books that I started probably Oh gosh, at the end of summer, which is, that's so sad to say, but yeah. So I have two books that I wanna finish reading and that is bucket list item number one. The second recommendation as like a time killer would be to learn a new skill. A lot of people right now are talking about all the things that they always wished that they had time to learn how to do that they never did. I am probably not going to start a new skill unless TikTok counts. <laughs> So that's a true new addiction, but um, I am going to get back into my Thai language lessons and see if I can't um, really get back into my Thai language learning. And on that same note, I plan to try and do some exercising at home right now as well. I really just over the last year and a bit gotten into the habit of going to the gym frequently and I was really, really enjoying that and that always really helped me feel less anxious or just like de-stress when I was having a hard work day or a hard work week. So I'm definitely missing the gym and doing my best to, even if I'm not like fully working out at home, to just like stay active. Or if you're not like in a full quarantine situation where you are absolutely not allowed to leave the house, um, even just like getting out and going for a walk while practicing social distancing is still at this point in time allowed. So that fresh air can make a huge difference and I definitely plan and to try not only for my health to keep a little exercise going, but really just, you know, it's, it's, it's a great time filler. And then to finish off this bucket list exercise for me, I just wanted to make a quick point, which is I'm not saying that you need to 
think about filling your time. This is more my recommendations for people who are looking for things to do and ways to continue staying productive during self-isolation. A lot of people I think right now, especially because this has just sort of started, are really putting a lot of pressure on themselves to do a lot um, and accomplish a lot in this time. Maybe to just occupy your mind and that's great. I know that sometimes I just need to like not think about anything else and get stuff done. Um, but it's also a fairly stressful time and if you need to just chill and relax and binge Netflix and eat snacks and just like have a day of doing nothing, then this is also kind of the time to do it. You know, like focus on whatever's gonna be good for yourself and your mental health and wellness. And uh, yeah, don't feel like because other people are setting goals for themselves and you know, planning to leaving self-isolation with a six pack and a degree in <laughs> who the heck knows. You don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, these are just sort of my recommendations for ways that you can fill time if that's something that is gonna be helpful to you. So again, if you have any recommendations for me or for those of us watching the video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I'm just gonna end this video here for today. So if you have not already hit that subscribe button, definitely do it. We post new travel content every Thursday and Sunday, usually. Uh, we'll be jumping right back into our Mexico content here pretty soon. And until I see you guys in my next video, stay great, stay safe, and I will see you guys then.